Alright, what's up guys? So we're back with another one for the 80th time. It's another Smash Players are super weird video. No, no, that's not that's not the point. That's not the lesson of today's video because you guys already know that. I already know that too. These smashers are wild. So what, what I'm talking about, this just blew up on on Twitter the other day. Absolute insanity. Now I know I know they're weird, but when I read this one, I was like, holy crap, this is next level. So there was some drama here at a smash major at a, a big smash event ready this is this is it right here so this guy said i just had a terrible experience at epm smash timber tuesday where i decided dq out of winter side grants because of a biased to it's like okay that sounds kind of saucy maybe the the to there are biased tos i will say that there are some biased tos you know they they'll let their favorite player hold up the bracket or maybe they'll they'll adjust the seating who knows it might, it might be something like that but what was it what happened? The opponent was mad because I plugged in my headphones and he didn't have game audio. I always bring a splitter. I can't focus with the ambient sound, which is why I use headphones. I said, if audio mattered so much, he should have brought earbuds headphones. He refused to run the set. So if you don't understand, let me just give you the image right here, right? So if you've never been in a tournament, you sit next. I sit on the chair. You sit on the chair. You share the monitor. You both plug in your trollers. You shake your hand. You fist bump and you play. So some, you know, fancy... The fancy tournaments like EVO, they'll have headsets for the players to use. Others, they might have a split. You can plug your own headset in there. But most, I'm going to say 99% of events, you just use the monitor sound. And if you get that, you're lucky. Maybe there's no sound at all. So what happened to this guy, he basically just stole the sound from his opponent. And his opponent said, that's not, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. I want it. The guy said, no, if you want it, you should have brought your splitter. The guy said, I'm not running the set. The TO sided with the normal human being not the weirdo and this guy went nuts so yes that that's what happened here and uh you know i understand it's a very you know if you're a very serious smash player and you're traveling across the world to one of these big majors here you know a lot of money on the line you really want to win it's very very important to do that the problem was that this is not actually a uh, a major this was an 11 person local there were 11 people at a weekly event called Timber Tuesdays. And this weirdo is going off just just absolute sweat levels off the chart. Just zero awareness, zero social skills. Now, why I'm making this video too is that it's not just, oh, look at this, look at this guy. He's weird. The problem was there were so many people agreeing with him. Now, the majority of people, the majority of people were like, all right, dude, you're insane. But there were also so many people agreeing with him which is why I want to just tell you guys, your local is not that serious, right? Your locals, your 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 monthlies, whatever they are, they are not that serious. I'll go one step further too. I mean, I'm just old too. I'll go one step further. I'll even like you, you, your mages, whatever you want to call them, they're not that serious. If you're trying to make a living off this, if you, if you are the sponsored Team Liquid Gamer or whatever, and like you have to win or else like you're finished, all right, maybe you can get a little bit sweaty. But for 99% of you guys, it's not that serious right it's not that serious oh hold on it goes on it keeps going <laughs> he said the only fair solution would be to run the set of the monitor since you both get that yes yeah no shit of course keep in mind the to and the player friends <sighs> hold on wait i didn't know that the conspiracy is coming out right the conspiracy is coming out they're friends the last line's the best though right here at the bottom anyway it even got payout for first because of the to ruling he got payout first for an 11 person local dude. 30, it's like 30 bucks. He got like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. He lost money. He lost money going there. Back to what I want to talk about aside from Smash is weird. And if you agree with this guy, you're even weirder. There are a lot of people in my comments too that were, they're like, I don't see the point. The one, the one, the one quote was crazy. It was like, I came here agreeing with OP and I see everybody disagrees with him. What's going on? Is this, am I missing something? He's like, no, you're insane. But anyway, I, I've said this a million times, but respect your TOs, first of all. So, the players worrying about who gets paid out for first, who gets paid out, whatever. The TOs putting on the event is losing money. Just understand that. Running running a tournament is not profitable. You lose money, you lose time. You're creating a space for people to come out, play the game. And especially for a weekly, it's not about to prove who's the best. It's about fostering the community, you know? Believe it or not, even though you guys are weird, there's still a, there's still a community aspect here. So, Juno, what are you talking about? How do you know? Of course, this was just last week, right? Let me plug the own of my own event right here. But we have been running this event now for six years. No smash. I'm sorry, no smash. But we've had world champions here, right? So before we show the video, let me just let me pop off. We've had world champions for multiple games. 
right? We've had world champions of Tekken, world champions of uh, Dragon Ball, world champions of uh, Strive out here, world champions of... got you and you got everybody, like, all throughout the years. We have, like, the, some of the best players in the entire world out here at the locals. But you have to understand the vibe. It's not about, I need to win. I need to go here, sweat, win, right? Look, just look look at the smiles, ready? This is why you should be traveling to events, even if you're a net player, even if you're, you're a sweaty little dude, Right? You gotta, you gotta come out to your local, just play some games, you know, meet some people, teach some people if they're lower, play in a tournament, have fun. If you lose, right, if you lose, just come back, right? Don't rage, don't throw anything, don't make a tantrum on Twitter or anything, man. I can't believe it. As a, as a TO, if something like this happened at our event and he was yelling at Obama, that would be the funniest day of my life. If some guy came to Tadakai Tuesday and went off on Obama, or not went off, went home and then made a tweet about Obama being a biased, like whatever. Oh my God, that would be the funniest thing ever. I would die. But yes, again, back back to the point of what I'm saying. So again, this event, Tata Guy Tuesday, Fighting Tuesday, been doing it for six years. Just, it's about creating a spot and it's not just us TOs are great. You know, the community steps up. That's the whole point is like, we have people now, they set up, they break down, they answer questions, they help run things, right? It's a whole group of people now creating a space, providing, you know, an area for people to come out and meet each other, have fun, practice, improve, play tournaments. This level of weirdo, of, of sweat, people who are missing like the grand picture of, you know, the purpose of these events. We're not gonna say don't come out, but you're definitely gonna have, get sat down in the corner, I think, with Uncle Obama and just be taught taught how to be a, a normal human being. But yes, let that be a lesson to, to everyone around the world. I know a lot of people now are, are stuck online. Maybe not stuck online, but let's just say online is kind of taken over. You know, Discord, everyone's in Discord. Uh, Netplay's gotten really good. So a lot of people don't go out to these events, but fighting games were based back in the day, still to a certain extent. You know, it's all based off of, of offline. You know, it's it's face-to-face, -face, people meeting up, you know, playing together, getting angry, getting salty, having a good time and everything. But you have to keep that level of, of normalcy. I don't know. I think we're losing it. We're losing it. I don't know how to bring it back, man. Just boomer, boomer, you know. But anyway, that's it. Like I said, there's no, no real purpose to this video. I just want to get it off my chest, man. I'm still, I'm still tight. I'm, I'm still, I still, I can't believe the straight disrespect. The straight disrespect. And if you've never been to a local, I guess I, uh, let me just close it out. But if, if you're a newer player, you've never been to a local, like I showed you right there. Don't think that it's full of people like this, of weirdos who are going to make a big stink over whatever. It's it's like this, right? Look at everyone just playing, chatting, having fun. This guy's fixing his stick, right? Different games. See this section right here? This is a, a females only, as in like, this is for girls. So this guy's coaching, right? You can coach the girls or whatever. We got beginner sections and everything, right? It's a very, very welcoming, very, very free vibe. As long as you don't ruin the vibe. Basically, don't ruin the vibe. If you come out, don't be weird. Wherever you go, don't be weird. Don't be awkward. Don't be greedy. I need my audio. You don't get it. Just try and be a normal human being. Oh man, I'm still, I'm still tight. Anyway, what do you think about that? What's the weirdest thing to happen at your local? Was it you? Were you the one who did it? Have you ever been to local? Do you have one? You should be, you should be happy to even have one, right? A lot of people don't have access to this kind of stuff. If you have the chance to go to an offline event, you should be grateful that someone's running it. You should also be grateful that you live in nearby where you can go. Oh yeah, take a shower too. That's a, that's. That's a, a very important part there. All right, that's it for this one. I have a feeling we'll be back in like a month for the next Smashers or Super Weird video. But until then, I'll see you. Peace.